adventuring and today I'm coming to you from Birdenham PA and we at we are at Coffee and Orchard in Birdenham. We are here for the end of the season bonfire and corn maze today. So I've never done a corn maze. This will be my first time doing a corn maze. So come along with me and enjoy this corn maze and bonfire. So we are now going to enter the corn maze and check it out. It's only five dollars, so we'll see where it goes. See where, where this goes. Again, like I said, this is my first time doing a corn maze, so it's kind of cool. Okay. How you doing? Let's see where everything goes. Oh. Is that is that a dead end or not? Let's see if it's this way. If not, we'll turn around. And there are the orchards right beside the corn maze here. Now this is not a very big um, corn maze. There are bigger ones. Uh, I think Cherry Crest has a slightly bigger one, but I don't know if had time to do that today. By Cherry Crest, it's Cherry Crest Farms. They, they have a corn maze as well. They're not too far away in Ronx. We are in Burden Hand, which is just down the road. We're not too far away from uh, Strasburg Railroad also. Oh wow. <laughs> so where do we go now? <laughs> Let's see where this one goes. This route goes. They also have a, you can do a night one as well. I don't know if I'll be able to do that one but I figure I'll show you during daylight it is only 6 p.m. today and the day is really beautiful it's more like a summer like day than it is a fall day here it is at the end of October near the end of October and so far it's when I last checked my um, temperature in the car it said it was like 80 something degrees so and there is some corn still on the stalks here not sure of what kind if what kind of uh, corn this is, if it's feed corn or if it's consumable corn, but you get an idea. Uh, it's pretty much dried out already, so it might end up becoming feed corn. <laughs> and then afterwards we'll go and check out the uh, See, I don't know which way it was the beginning or which one was the end. So I just took a left, I mean, at the entrance.
Okay. He didn't say specifically which way to go. So you got to figure it out yourself. Okay. It's not this way. <laughs> now we're going around in circles. <laughs> That's the fun part about a, a maze. Ironically, we're in plenty of maze. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> we already went that way, so I know it ain't that way, so we'll head back this way. Let's see where this goes. <laughs> Here are other people talking as they're going through the maze. Oh, this is a dead end. <laughs> so we know it's not that way. <laughs> Let's see where this goes. <laughs> I think we already went through here. Let me see. Yeah, we did. I don't know if I'm doing this in reverse or not. Like I said, this is my first time doing a corn maze. I know where that goes now. <laughs> okay. Brought me back out this way. So obviously I'm going the wrong way because I'm supposed to be in there somewhere. <laughs> So I got to figure out how to get over to that side now. Yeah, see there, I'm supposed to be over there on that side somewhere. Hopefully my battery doesn't run out. Not that I... Oh, somebody's flying a drone above. And you get a top side view of this maze. Ah, okay. That's why. Cool. Okay, we gotta go this way. Nope, it ain't this way anymore. So what? <laughs> How do you get over there then? It's gotta be somewhere that I'm not seeing. To get to this part over here. And it isn't over here either. And I've already been down that way. <laughs> so it truly is a maze. Amongst all this maze. <laughs> so we did that one. Does this go anywhere? Or did I come through here already? Nope, that ain't it. So, it must be another way that I'm not seeing. Huh. So I went through there, I went through there. Head back this way. Let's see where... I know where this goes now. Sort of. And there's a road right beside us. Oh, that's interesting. Why would that be cordoned off? Unless there's another way to get in to that side. Let's see where this goes. Ah, 
might be this way somewhere. I hear people nearby, so. I hear a group of young ladies as, as I was coming. They're over there on the other side by the orchard over there. that's interesting some parts are for some reason are blocked off so I'm not sure what's going on here I think this was supposed to be the path to go through but they blocked it off for some reason now so I'm now back on the main That's interesting how they have that blocked off like that when it's supposed to be a maze. But we'll go the other way and see where that takes us to. I'm also looking forward to the bonfire where they have all those skids with an apple st stacked up on the top. So there is more to this maze than... They also have a supposedly nighttime one that you can do. Now I don't know how many times you can come into this maze at all, so throughout the night or whatever, so we'll figure it out. Let me see where this goes. Okay. Oh, okay. So now this one goes this way. See? That found that I found that weird how they have some areas cordon off or I guess maybe rerouted as you may want to call it oh, this is a dead end that's a dead end not it <laughs> Not saying I gotta hurry, but it's gonna get dark soon eventually. So I don't wanna get caught in here without no kind of flashlight. So there's the entranceway where we came in through. And then the exit, I guess, is supposed to be where that red flag is at. So there's many ways to go through here. You can see that one. That probably just takes you right where we just came from, I'm sure. Maybe. We'll see. Like I said, first time experience. Ah, okay. Again, we're at Kaufman's Orchard, uh, Fruit Farm and Orchard here in Burdenhan. I believe this event is from 6 to 8, maybe a little bit later than that. Let's see where that goes.
pot it back to the middle. Yep. So I pretty much went I went up that way and came around and I think I went down this one already or I came down this one one of them too I think I came down that one so we know where that goes and that goes let's see where this goes yeah that looks like a dead end there but I could be wrong That's the fun thing about it. Yep, it just goes around in circles. No, it doesn't. Huh. Hope I didn't come back through here again. <laughs> no, I did not. So there's the uh, red flag. I'm not sure if that's the exit, pure exit or not. No, that's just a, looks like a, some bins stacked there and then you can go this way as well see where that goes <laughs> oh wow this thing is let's split and go this way now and probably go around in circles as usual pretty neat though For a small, oh no, this goes somewhere, huh? Where does it go now? Oh yeah, I've already, I was here, I was through here already. Because there's the, okay, so we'll turn back around. Since I was already through here, I just didn't realize that it brought you out here again, but it is a maze after all, so. Let's go back this way. <laughs> Like I said, I'm not here to complete it in the fastest time or whatever. I'm just here to enjoy the maze here. Pretty cool for being in my first coin maze again. Oh, and we're now back at the beginning again. Nearly the beginning again. Now, I heard that they, they, they can give you flashlights or you bring your own flashlight and you can do this at night. <laughs> when it gets dark, I mean. And this becomes even more disorienting at night time walking around in these this maze. So let's see where this goes. That looks like it just went around this way. I know where this one goes, I think. <laughs> Fun. Another form of what they call agritainment. Or for those of you who are not familiar with the term, agriculture entertainment. We're going to begin uh, again walking around till we get through this maze. I know it's probably more fun with other people than it is just by yourself. So. Oh, that's a dead end.
Let me see where this goes. Oh, I think I've already been here too already. Yeah, I think I've already been here too, so. Don't need to go through that way. But at least there are some dead ends. But as well as, um, basically as I call them, loops around the cornfield. Oh, I think they got the, f the bonfire going. Darn it. I was hoping to catch it right before they started the bonfire. But we'll, we're going to head out really quick and check out the bonfire. Really quick. Darn. I was hoping to catch it right when they started it, but apparently I missed it. And you can see the fire already burning from here. Oh man, now I have to go all the way around. it is they got the bonfire going wow oh beautiful moon look at that full moon got the little bonfire there and the big bonfire So they have a whole bunch of skids kind of running out the top was a uh, an apple and I could feel the heat from right back here already I saw the torch being brought out when I was still in the maze, but I didn't pay attention. I could have just waited. Oh, the apple fell. Yeah. I missed it. Yeah, so the apple was right up above. I have a photo of it prior to them setting it ablaze. So.
said I could feel the heat from way back here. And I'm at least 40 to 50 feet maybe away. a certain distance cordoned off as you can see. down. Kind of reminds you a little bit of the Burning Man the festival I heard. A good bit of people in there out here tonight. Maybe at least 200, easy. So the top part already has collapsed, and little by little, it's almost consumed. Yeah. Oh, the embers flying up there. Look at the whirlwind. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. So the so what you see on the ground right there that looks like the apple part already collapsed down on the ground. It's hard to see it from here. Ooh. And it's hard to even stand close. <laughs> I'm gonna have to stand back now because the temperature. drone flying above so that had to be a pretty cool uh, drone experience whoever's the one up there so 
people view it as the uh, drone, that little green light you see flashing. I'm wondering if a local YouTuber that I met at another event might be here, I'm not sure. Um, Buzzman, the Buzzman 97. slowly but surely dying so now it's not as hot giving you a ground view of the bonfire there's the marshmallow And look at that beautiful, that beautiful full moon right behind you. <laughs> Perfect night for that. Wow. Yeah. I gotta get a shot of that with my phone. Full moon right behind the actual bonfire here. And it's almost dead. Not much left. The gentleman that was speaking just a little bit ago was uh, one of the employees of the farm, I guess. So there's the back side. Shame that I... Pointing my flashlight. And we're exiting now. Just showing a little bit.